Hello and welcome to another Demon 212 PSN PS Vita review. Today I'm going to be taking a look at Hustle Kings, which I've already looked at in quite a lot of detail on the uh, PS3. I didn't get around to reviewing the DLC packs because it's just new modes and new trick shots and that. And mainly what I'm going to be doing with this one is not looking at all the modes and that because I've already done that as I see it in the uh, real game. It's going to be looking at the Vita specific, sorry, specific stuff. I, I still messed it up. Anyway... And that's mainly how it handles with the touch screen. Obviously, if you bought it on the PlayStation, you're going to get it free for the Vita anyway, which is, again, why I don't really want to sit here and do a full review, because you can either just watch the PS3 one and think, well, right, I'll do it so I can get both, or you can, you know, you'll already have it, and you'll just be thinking, is it worth my time to put it on? And personally, I think yes. The controls work well, as you can see there, I just had to pull the cue back and fire. Um, there is some problems if you're right-handed though, because you have to hold the fine-tune button on the right side of the Vita, uh, whilst at the same time pulling down, but personally I overcome that by doing this. So I'm holding the button down, and then I'm aiming with the left analogue, and then I just flick back for the power, and done. Although I didn't pull enough there, but I wasn't exactly trying to pull off an amazing shot. Uh, graphically it still looks great, music it's still the type of thing that personally I'd play it with an iPod, I did see in the PS3 review I wasn't a fan of it. The multiplayer and that does work well and I can't access the crossplay at this moment in time but the crossplay does work well for myself because as I said I've got bad eyesight so being able to... Um, sorry, I see it as I've said, but as I said in the PS3 one, I've got bad eyesight, so I can really zoom the screen up close to my own eyes whilst my brother can play on the PlayStation 3. So that's uh, pretty much everything I think you need to know. Apologies for only a two minute vid, but again, the uh, PSN one's probably about seven minutes if memory serves. Oh, and to be fair, very quickly, the only other thing I can say, uh, I've gone back to the menu here just to show the game types not to mention them or anything but to show you that so far the only dlc supported is the snooker pack the karam and uk billiards and that as you can see they aren't there so i'd like to think that they are going to come and they'll be free for those who've already bought them but it not i don't know why it wasn't like that at launch but just to warn you if you are expecting to be able to use all of your dlc you can't at the moment but hopefully you will be able to in the future now i really am done so there we go then that's been the review i hope you found it helpful i don't score the games because that's based purely on opinion so instead i'll leave you to make your own mind up so thanks for watching and if you've got any questions about the game that i didn't answer in the vid or that hasn't been answered in the comments then feel free to ask and i'll help if i can also if you did find it helpful don't forget to check out my channel because there's plenty more like this up there and don't forget to subscribe because there will be plenty more to come as well. So until next time, this has been Demon212, signing off.